But Catholic Schools Week starts next week, actually this weekend. It will be celebrated in the three dozen or so Catholic schools in the Archdiocese of San Antonio. To preview that and to discuss the option of a private school education for your child, we're honored this morning to be joined by the Archbishop of the uh, Archdiocese of San Antonio, Gustavo Garcia Sierra. So nice to have you here. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Ernie. It's a pleasure to be with you. We were talking about how I went to private school growing up in Victoria, and for me, Catholic Schools Week was always one of my favorite weeks of the year. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering how excited you get for, for this time of the year, and, and what all, how busy will you be during Catholic Schools Week? Well, what we try is to, to promote uh, Catholic education across the board, particularly you know, to grammar school, which we have uh, quite a few of them here in San Antonio. Uh, we really believe that uh, qua quality Catholic education is, is a priority in passing on the faith and excelling in academics and to promote the future generations for the multiple services that we have in our, in our society. There are what, thousands, or tens of thousands of children that are educated uh, by private school here in our community. Yes, and I've correct. read that the graduation rate is so much higher. It's like 99%. Yes. It's 99% across the United States regarding Catholic education. Mm -hmm. And uh, we know that 84% of them actually ended joining colleges mm -hmm. and universities. So we are very proud of the quality Catholic education that we provide. So parents, uh, Archbishop, that might be hearing this are thinking, I would love my child to have this. I think there might be a misconception out there. Some people will say, I I'd love to have it, but it it's just too expensive. You know, financially, it's not attainable for me. Uh, but how, what would you say to that? And I know that there's help for people well, like that. Well, we have that. to say that uh, Catholic education, like private education, is expensive. But uh, there are many people who, because of the values and the pass on of the faith and the quality of the, of the Catholic education, they would like to have their children with us. And so um, we have a hope for the future which is an organization here in, in San Antonio that helps the families, parents who want, are interested in having their children in the Catholic education mm -hmm. to afford it. So that's true. Many people are, are being affected by the economics right. of our times. But uh, we provide the, through this program scholarships. At the present time, we have 1,600 young children part of this help. Yeah. And so we are very happy and proud of supporting families in their choices. There is an event this weekend, a fundraiser to help with Hope for the Future. It's the Khaki and Plaid Party, which is happening Correct. on Saturday. And yeah. we can put up the information for that. If you'd like more information, it's happening this weekend. You can still go. And this is the proceeds from events like this go to help yes. and ultimately raise funds for kids. They help. Every penny mm -hmm. goes there. As a matter of fact, we have 4,000 families, mm -hmm. you know, waiting to, to be part of this program. Yeah. So uh, we're helping 1,600 at the present time, and we hope to continue increasing the numbers. So that particular event will be of great help to little ones to, to be a uh, part of our family yeah. in Catholic schools. We'll have all of that information on our website if you'd like to find yes. out more about Catholic Schools Week, about Khaki and Plaid. All of that will be at foxsanantonio.com. You are here with us today, and it just so happens to be, the, for, the as we mentioned earlier, the 40th anniversary of Roe versus Wade. I know the mm -hmm. Archdiocese has some events planned for this weekend, and I believe you were doing something yesterday with that. That's right. That was on Sunday for the uh, Rally for Life. It uh, takes place in Milan Park in downtown San Antonio. Um, this uh, situation of, of uh, Roe versus Wade uh, decision is for, for us is considered a very tragic moment because of the quality of life has been diminished in many ways. And so we're trying to raise conscience and particularly to focus on prayer. You know, and sometimes we want to achieve changes in our society, but we know that uh, prayer is at the heart. If we want to move forward in being pro-life and to promote life from beginning to end, mm -hmm. we need to pray more and to promote prayer around us. So that is what we did. And uh, what we're going to do on Saturday is at 8 o'clock. It's a mass at St. Mary Magdalene's. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we'll have a procession to a site in which abortions take place. And just to pray is not to be political, is not to be with particular agendas, but to pray mm -hmm. that life will stand in the midst of chaos 
and the, the privation of quality. So again, it's a day of events planned for this Saturday, and if you'd like more information on that, well, again, we'll have all of it at foxsanantonio.com. But we know you're a very busy man. We really do appreciate your time this well, morning. Well, thank you for having me here, and, and uh, we wish you well to you and to all the people who help us to communicate good news for the people uh, across the San Antonio uh, uh, city. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you, sir. Thank appreciate you. It. Thank you for your time. have him stick around and bless the studio. So we could certainly oh. use that. Oh, that. That would be very you good. Could, we could use it. And <laughs> I can do it well. I know you can. <laughs> I know you can. It's 848. We'll step aside and come right back. Don't go away. <laughs>